So Bernie, your story is, is quite incredible. And um, as with all of us, your childhood and environment affects the rest of your life. And uh, uh, yours was not that uncommon for the, the area that you actually lived in. So, yeah. so maybe you can take us back to the streets of Hanover Park as a youngster and uh, the way you kind of remember it. You know, um, I think my, 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 my furthest back as, as I can remember, um, we all know that Hanover Park is, is ridden with crime and, and, and drugs and stuff, you know. But for me, it was home, you know. You almost, you, you, this, is, this situation becomes normalized when you're there. So for, for me to walk around and uh, see people on the street, like a, a guy that was drunk from last night still sleeping on the street or something like that, it's, it's pretty normal, you know. It's only when you leave Hanover Park, when you realize how abnormal we were and how abnormal we are in that uh, in the system there, so my memories of of Hanover Park is is really un unfortunately it's only about gang fights over the weekend, a lot of church. Oh, because my dad was a he's a pastor and I grew up in church, so it was a lot of church, uh, literally seven days a week, a Monday seven days a week and twice on a on a Sunday. So a lot of church. <laughs> And a lot of, of uh, like, because my, my brother was a, a bit of a gangster before. He was, he was openly a gangster, you know. I was a little undercover, so he was openly a gangster. And then what happened was, uh, what I do remember is go, going to school always it took me about 30 minutes, a walk that would be, for you, for anybody, probably seven or eight minutes. It took me just over 30 minutes to get to school because I couldn't walk like that i had to go all the way into lansdowne road walk all the way up lansdowne road because you had to dodge the wildcats dodge the americans these are gangs so you know and then i would have to walk all the way down vanguard drive just to get to to crystal to the school so yes. uh, and again that becomes it becomes the norm you know um yeah so it it's good i i i say it, all these bad things i mentioned all these bad things about hanover park but it's also, there's a sense of community there, which I'd never found, which I still don't find in the suburbs in Santon, wherever I lived. You know, there's a sense of community. And uh, when I lived in, uh, in Bahrain, in the UAE, I, one thing I really, when I came back to, to South Africa, I embraced the fact that here we don't have the problems that they have in Europe and over there where Muslims hate Christians. And if you go to Hanover Park, it's unbelievable the respect the Muslims have for the Christians and vice versa, you know? Mm -hmm. So everybody just lives together. They'll be like, because you know, the Muslims don't drink. Um, they smoke a lot of buttons though. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, so the Christians would respect, they would say like, you know, you can't go drink there because those are Muslims. Like just, they just have this respect. So there's that sense yeah. of community. And, uh, you know, when they're fasting, when they're doing their, like now their Ramadan, they would come to the Christian's house, they bring barakat. So mm. at, when they break their fast at the end of the night, they wouldn't just go to the mood, they'd go to, to Christian families as well. So in that, we have a, there's a very strong sense of community in, in, the, in, those, in those townships and stuff. And um, mm. so as much as I took uh, bad things that happened to us over there, and it's, uh, you know, they, the one thing I can say is that the people are, they stand up for each other, you know? It's almost like if you're all, if, you, if there's a foot on all of you, if you all press down together, you know, so you all have to push up together kind of thing. Yeah. So that's yeah. how we are there, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's super cool, man. I, I actually, um, I've been like into the sort of middle of Soweto a couple of times. Um, yeah. And it's, it's the same thing there, the same story that you said, you know, like there's yeah. obviously all the, the bad things that happen, but yeah. there is that sense of community, like literally have got each other's back, which is super yeah. powerful. And um, you mentioned church and, you know, your dad being a yeah. pastor, he was like highly respected, highly, um, highly respected. Yeah. And, but you were yourself an atheist. So yeah. how did that kind of go down? You know, you know, I, I, I do believe that we are all born atheists because you can't born uh, loving or bowing down to a deity. Mm. You know, I think we're all born atheists and, and we get sort of pushed into the direction of whatever our parents tell us to obey. Right. So like if I was born in, in Saudi Arabia, what are the likelihood of me being Muslim? I'd be Muslim. If I was born in Tel Aviv. I'd probably be a Jew. So I was in the beginning stages of my life. I was forced into this, but I didn't feel like I was forced, you know. Um, mm. 
but my I, I always had this yearning to want to know more i think my philosophy and probably in life is like uh don't I, I ask questions i question everything you know so growing up i wanted to question things why 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 and then i can say officially i lost my religion uh, about 20 years ago you know it, it didn't it could not have happened in hanover park mm -hmm. i would I, I would i would bet a lot of money that there's very, the, the amount of atheists in Hanover Park is few and far between because <laughs> religion is part of your culture. And it's almost like, I, I, you know, I, I can't even tell anybody in Hanover Park that I'm an atheist because for them, translated atheist means devil worshiper. Yeah, yeah. Six, six, exactly. six, you, yeah. which, and you just try to explain to them, no, it just means I don't believe there's not enough evidence for what you are saying, you know? Um, yeah. And uh, even my father, I've never really outright, to, I mean, it's, it's more of a respect thing. I was like, you know, they, they really, really, really believe in this. But if you actually go out there and you discover, and I, why I think I became an atheist was because I took the time out when I went, when I lived, like I told you, in the, uh, in the UAE, I spent a lot of time with Sunni Muslims and I spent a lot of time with Shia Muslims. And because I had this yearning all the time to, for new things and to learn and to want to see, I understood the religion. And then I realized, oh, my God, there's so much. They, they actually have some, there's some, uh, some fact or some good things in, 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 in Islam. I came back to South Africa and then I spent a lot of time and I lived in, in, um, in the bastion of Judaism, which is Santon and Jovan, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And I lived there and I had a lot of friends that, that were Jewish. And I began to, underst to understand their, uh, their religion as well. And I opened up to it, you know, and uh, I had a lot of good friends there. And then when I moved to Thailand, I actually went up into the mountains and I lived with the monks for two months to understand Buddhism. So what it did was when I had a greater understanding of all these religions, I could then understand that, hold on, but according to each one of them, they write. So clearly, it can't be like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. And yeah, and then I just went deep and I realized, hold on, but I'm, um, I, I mean, it's really for me, it's uh, being an atheist, it's not the hatred of religion. It's the encompassing of, 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 of everybody, you know? Yeah. So people really think if you're an atheist, you hate, I don't hate religion. I hate what people do because people really, they, they, there's good people that believe in, in religion. I'm, I've no doubt that there's good people. Mm. But then if somebody can blow themselves up, because they believe that strongly in a religion, then it becomes a problem, you know? Mm -hmm. if, 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 if the crusades can happen because of, then it becomes a problem, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, so those people, I have an issue. But I can tell you right now that actually being an atheist made me a better person. Because now, when I, I, did, I don't discriminate between, if you're Muslim, if you're Jewish, if, you, if you're in need, I'm gonna help you. It, you know, and, and, Christians will deny it. They will definitely deny it if you ask them. Uh, but if there's a Christian person and a Muslim person in need, I will, I'll, again, I'll put my knee on this. They're going to help the Christian person first. You know, <laughs> it's, I don't do that. I, see, I think when you become, when you lose your religion, you see everybody as there's a needy child, you know, and it's not like, oh, yes. they're Muslim. They, I, I feel the same way about a kid in Mecca that's starving than I do about a kid uh, in, in a Burundi that's starving, you know? So, yeah. Mm. So I'm, exactly. I'm very, it's a, it's a good choice I made. It's a lifestyle choice. I just, unfortunately, a, we get discriminated against a lot because mm. people don't understand it. But Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy Cape Fold mountain range. Gotta be quick so 